Stripe payment tutorial, how to use Stripe for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Stripe. So Stripe is a online financial infrastructure available that can help you in providing payment methods for your product. You can also do a lot of other things like build checkouts, build elements, payment links, payment terminals, billing, invoicing, and so much more with Stripe. So let's get started into how to use Stripe and what are the costs of using Stripe. Now, a lot of us have seen Stripe on different payment getaways and checkouts. So we are already familiar with Stripe. Stripe is also integrated with platforms such as Amazon, Salesforce, Google, Shopify, WhatsApp, Marriott, BMW, and more. So you know it is a trustable financial tool to be using. Now, if we take a look at the pricing of Stripe, Stripe has a standard plan which allows you to complete uh, access a complete payment platform with a simple pay as you go pricing. There are no setup fees, no monthly fees or any type of hidden fee that Stripe will take will be 2.9% plus 30 cents for every successful payment. So any bounce payments are not on you. You don't have to pay for those. So let's get started with actually using Stripe. Now to use Stripe, simply head on over to stripe.com. Once you're on stripe.com, you're going to click on sign in on the top right. Now, once you click on sign in, you will be led to the Stripe login page. Now, you want to create your account on Stripe first before you're actually able to log in. So once you go into your login page, you can actually go into the create account section on the bottom. So just click on the create account button over here. Once you do that, you can get started with creating your Stripe account. You'll have to fill in all of the relevant information about yourself over here. So this includes your email, full name, country, as well as password. Make sure that this information is accurate because after you fill in this information, you're going to have to input some more basic information about your identity to verify that you are an actual user and not some bot. Now, once you have completed this, you're going to log into your account. And once you log into your account on Stripe, you will be led to the dashboard on Stripe. Now, with Stripe, you also have a test mode. I am currently displaying a test mode for you guys. So before you actually authenticate your, your account, you are able to use Stripe with its test mode just to figure out what the platform is like. Now on the top left, you have different businesses that you can insert. So as you guys can see, I can build different businesses for different purposes. Now in a particular business, you will see on the left, you have a home section, then you have a payment section, a balance, a customer billing, and then a more section. In your more section, you are able to access options such as accepting payments, facilitating platform payments, managing products, and viewing reports and analytics. So let's say I have this particular Shopify store and I want to build a Stripe payment getaway for my products that I have over here. Let's say I want to build a Stripe getaway for this scalp scrubber. So whenever someone purchases the scalp scrubber, I will receive the payment in my Stripe account. Now to do that, I will simply click on more on the left panel. Once you click on more on the left panel, you can create listings for your goods or services by clicking on product catalog on the bottom left. Click on add product over here and you can add your product. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can add a product like this. So we're just going to insert the name, which is a scalp scrubber. And then we're going to insert a description. So let's say this is going to be a simple tool for hair care. Then you can also upload images and choose whether or not this is a recurring or one-off purchase. One-off purchases are items that people only have to purchase once. Recurring items may include things like subscription boxes, so you can put in a recurring payment that could be billed monthly, weekly, daily, or every three to six months. Now, this is going to be a one-off payment, of course, and I'm going to insert the price of this, which on my Shopify store is, I'm going to try to set it as the same. So on my Shopify store, I don't even have a price for this. So I think I am going to, yeah, it's 40. 
So I will set the price as $40. Once you do that, you can click on more pricing options. Once you click on more pricing options, you will have options such as your pricing models. So you can also offer a flat rate, which is going to be a flat fee for the product. Then you also have package pricing. So if a customer chooses to buy a bundle, a package, or a group of units, which means that if they buy five items, they can get the sixth one for free. So you can put in package pricing like so. Then you can also let the customer choose the price. This is usually for things like donations and charity work, which is, you know, which isn't going to enable people to put in as much money as they can afford. Below that, you also have the price description and then a lookup key. Now I will click on next over here and now our product is ready. Click on add product over here to insert your product onto Stripe. Now, once you have inserted your product, you can go on ahead and complete your business profile to start accepting payments on this particular product. Now, how can you insert a product link from Shopify into a Stripe getaway? So to do that, you're gonna go into more on the left and then click on payment links. Once you click on payment links, click on new over here. Once you click on new, you're going to choose what type of item this is going to be. So you're going to click on product or subscriptions. If this is going to be for a product or a subscription, like a subscription box or the scalp scrubber that we just created. However, if there is something like a donation, tipping, charity, then you can let customers choose what to pay. But I want this to be a product. Then I can click on the product section and choose my product. As you guys can see, I already created my product, but if you didn't create your product already, you can go ahead and click on add new product over here. We're going to let the quantity of the product be one, and I will let the customers edit the quantity between zero to, let's say the maximum units I let one customer purchase are going to be 10. Below that, I can collect the customer's addresses. Now, this can include billing addresses as well as shipping addresses. So I want to provide both billing and shipping addresses and I will click on the countries that I am shipping to. So make sure to only select the countries that you are going to be shipping this particular product to. So for example, I'm only shipping to Canada and the United States. I can click on save over here and if any of the addresses are from Canada or the United States, then the customer will be able to purchase this product. Otherwise, they would not be able to purchase or complete the purchase. Below that, you can require customers to provide a phone number as well. Then click on advanced app, then click on advanced options below. Once you click on advanced options, you can see custom fields, promotion codes, business customers to provide text IDs, as well as payment details saving. So I like to allow promotion codes for my products if I'm offering any promo. Then you can also use a payment detail save option for customers which can enable them to purchase products from you again and again without having to enter their payment info. Then I want the call to action button to say pay as the call to action or book or donate. If you're collecting donations, you want to click on donate and set the button to say donate. Now, once you have completed this, this is going to show you a preview on the right side. So this is the preview for our payment getaway. Then you're going to click on the after payment section on the top left. Once you click on after payment, you will see the confirmation page. So this is a confirmation page and you can choose to redirect customers back to your website, but I want to show a confirmation page. Then you can create an invoice PDF. However, keep in mind that Stripe charges 0.4% for the transaction total for upwards a maximum of $2 per invoice for a PDF invoice. So I just like to show a confirmation page and you can replace the default with a custom message. So thanks for your order at Miracle HC. We will be sending you an invoice shortly in your mail like this. So now I have a nice little confirmation message. Once these steps have been completed, you can click on create link on the top right to create your link. Now, if I copy this link, 
I can go on ahead and insert this anywhere for people to purchase the scalp scrubber. Now, you also have the option to generate a QR code where people can just scan to pay this, pay for this item. Then you also have a buy button where you can get a code for a button with the purchasing link. You also can generate a simple button or a card based button. Then you also have the option to change the name for the product, add notes, or later on edit the product. And if you scroll down, you will see all the information about your product, including its shipping, payment method, details, metadata, logs, and events. Then you can also see payments and analytics. Now to integrate this into any pre-existing store, simply go into your online store on any website that you are building and you can just copy the HTML code from here. But if you want to make it a lot easier for you, if you don't want to deal with code, simply copy the link to purchase, then go into your website builder, click on customize on your website builder and simply insert the link as a hyperlink into that buy now button. So. I'll go into this button over here like this and I will click on the button and then the button link I'm going to remove the button link and then paste in my own link. Once I do that I can click on save and once I click on save I'll show you guys what the button will do. So this is our website and in the website if I click on buy now this directly opened up the Stripe checkout for the product. It has the quantity that I can change and then the payment info. And just like that, you can start using Stripe to accept payments on any website or just to start selling or buying products. Now, once you have created your product, you have built successful links to purchase or sell your product, you can start managing your product. For that, you can go into payments to see all of the payments you have received, including any disputes that you may have. Below that, you have a balances section. This allows you to see what type of money you have and how much of your money is going to your bank currently, how many funds you have on hold, and how much money is soon going to be paid out again once you have resolved your issues with any kind of refund. You also have top ups you can add as well as payouts where sometimes you might have a refund and you might have to refund a customer. Then below that, you have a customer section. This allows you to see any of the customers that have purchased with you. You can also click on add customer to manually add your customers. Customer information includes their name, email address, description, and billing info. Below that, you have your billing and invoicing. In billing and invoicing, you have recurring and one-time payments that you can set up. Now, other than that, a lot of other things that people ignore in Stripe include sending and creating invoices. So you can create invoices directly on Stripe and send them to your suppliers or to any of the people that you are working with. This includes any of the uh, items that you might be selling in bulk, especially if you're dealing with large payouts. Then you also have terminal readers, where if you have a point of sale system installed, such as a physical outlet, then you will need a terminal reader. So you can directly build your terminal reader on Stripe and set up paying hundreds and thousands of dollars for someone else to set up a terminal for you. You can build your point of sale system off of Stripe by going into more and then click on terminal reader. Once you do that, click on get started. And once you click on get started, you will see any physical location by clicking on new, you can create your physical location. Then you can add any card reader or accessory. So you're going to have to purchase the scanners in a simple term to say. And once you purchase those scanners, those will enable you to get your products to be read or scanned from the particular product into the website's database. Then the POS system will be basically set up. Now, below that, you also have analytical tools on Stripe. By accessing more and then going into reports, you can track your financial activity and see whether or not your business is progressing or stagnating. Now, you also have taxation options depending on your region. If you are located in a country where you are going to file taxes on your own, you can automate VAT and sales tax calculations for your product. You also have revenue recognitions, data management, and climate. So you can also remove carbon emissions from your business as you go, which can be a really major promoting factor for your business. 
You can also secure your business by preventing fraud and managing risks. This includes rejecting orders that might be fraudulent, where Stripe will notify you of any type of fraudulent orders. Now, below that, you also have card issuing, where you can issue spend cards, and you can instantly create and distribute and manage your virtual cards and use Stripe as an online platform to purchase for yourself. Now, this is just for one account. You can click on new account over here and set up different businesses on Stripe with different systems with all of them would be actually linked to back to your own email address. So you don't have to build a new account every time. You can set up a new business and manage it separately. Then on the top right, you have settings. This includes your business settings, your documents, profiles, beta features, and any type of product settings that you might want. So make sure you go into the compliance certification to make sure that you are complying with any requirements that your business might have as well as set up your business correctly with your account health, legal information, account verification, and more. Keep in mind that you can also choose to delete your Stripe account. And to do so, you have to go into settings. And once you go into settings, you can go into businesses and close a business. This does not mean that your entire account would be deleted off of Stripe. Instead, it just means that your account would be closed or your business would be closed and you will not be able to access your financial data. So make sure that you are resolving any financial issues before you close your business. Now, another really amazing feature on Stripe allows you to browse and install different apps. You can do so by going into more and then going into the Stripe app marketplace. Now, a lot of people might wonder what is the purpose of using Stripe as a integrated tool? Well, Stripe is going to help you in setting up all of your, all of your purchases, all of your purchases, ordering, supplying, you know, selling, all of that would be dealt by with Stripe. So instead of having to manually take that data and putting it into an accounting software, you can easily add your accounting software into Stripe. You can add Adobe Commerce. You can add QuickBooks. You can also link many other tools that can help you in setting up taxes, setting up customer support, managing your uh, productivity, increasing marketing, setting up all of your marketing emails, like linking a automated email every time a order is placed via stripe so all of those things can easily be done by going into the stripe marketplace and you can go into any of their categories and you can search for any app that you want so if i want an emailing app i will go into archer you can go ahead and start building landing pages and build your email list with stripe then if you want to particularly just use MailChimp, you can go on ahead, use the data mapper for MailChimp, which can help you in taking data from Stripe and importing it on to MailChimp. Now with that in Stripe, if you want to go on ahead and manage your account, you can go into the Stripe dashboard, click on settings, and then click on your profile. Once you click on your profile, you will see a two-step authentication method. Make sure you have something selected as your two-step authentication method and make sure that you keep it saved. If you don't have a two-step authentication method and you don't remember what it is, you might lose access to all of your Stripe info. So it's really important to enable all those options to make sure that you are secure in your financial data. Now, once you have set up all of your basic parameters, you can activate your account. Simply click on activate account on the top right and verify your business. This includes your personal details, business details, fulfillment, and public details. You also have to add your banking info to completely connect Stripe into your fully online financial system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Stripe as a complete payment tool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned everything you need to know about Stripe and how to use it as a beginner. If you did watch this video till the end, I'm pretty sure that you can start creating products and building your own checkouts with Stripe. And if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thank you and I'll catch you guys in the next video.